You are listening to Insights from the Conference Board. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Insights podcast on artificial intelligence for onboarding. I'm Amy Yi, researcher here in the Human Capital Center with the Conference Board. So today's topic is onboarding. As many of you know, that a strong onboarding program can really have a significant impact on new joiners'、um, work productivity, engagement, satisfaction, and eventually affect whether the employee decides to stay with the company or not. However,、uh, recent research shows that only 12% of new joiners thought their onboarding experience was sufficient. And also,、uh, onboarding survey shows that about 30% of new hires they quit their jobs within the first six months of employment because of unclear communication,、uh, inadequate training, or lack of manager and coworker support in the onboarding process. So today, in many organizations,、uh, onboarding is still a very labor-intensive process.、It、includes a variety of manual tasks. For example,、um, onboarding professionals need to communicate with new hires through emails. It、includes IT provisioning. They need to help new joiners prepare paperwork and also deliver in-person trainings to new joiners. And at the same time, the pandemic has also forced many organizations to quickly pivot and shift from、um, in-person onboarding programs to remote onboarding. So clearly, there is a lot of room for improvement in this onboarding process, and also there is an increasing demand for effective remote solutions. So in today's podcast. We'll discuss how AI can provide solutions to some of the challenges I just mentioned and help to transform onboarding. So we, the Conference Board, recently published a report on this exact topic, on how AI can transform onboarding. So today I'm joined by my co-author Barbara Lombardo, a distinguished principal research fellow, to share some of our top line findings from the report. Welcome, Barbara. I'm so glad to have you here. Hey, Amy. Thank you for joining. Yeah. So before we talk about the benefits of AI and also some use cases, I think it's really important、uh, for us to have a shared understanding of the terms. So, what does artificial intelligence really mean, and、uh, what does the onboarding process include? Because really, onboarding in AI can mean really different things to different people. So, Barbara, I know you are the program director of the Onboarding Talent Council. So, could we start with you and to、um, share a little bit about onboarding and how it's usually defined by professionals? Sure, Amy. When people hear the word onboarding, I think they often think of it as an event, a day or a series of days that a new joiner to an organization, you know, attends training, maybe gets their laptop issued to them, fills out. And makes choices about benefits, and、uh, maybe gets you know a coffee cup that's branded with their company logo. Onboarding, however, is much more than just an event. And actually, the onboarding professionals that we work with define it as all of the support that's provided to new joiners from the moment that they accept their offer. All the way through the first year of employment, and you alluded to some of these、uh, activities, Amy, in your introduction. But that support is very wide ranging and includes communication, background verification, orientation and training, mentoring, and helps with、uh, establishing support networks and you know provisioning of tools. And one more thing, Amy, I want to add about onboarding. Especially in the current environment, I think that given the fact that so many people are working remotely during the pandemic, I think a lot of leaders have recognized the significance of onboarding now more than ever before. You know, when they're bringing on new employees who are working remotely, never showing up in an office, never interacting in person with their new colleagues. There's a real recognition that all of the work done around onboarding to help those new joiners, you know, get a good start at the organization is really of critical importance. Yeah, thank you so much, Barbara. That's really helpful, and thank you for explaining it so thoroughly and also with、uh, the examples. Yeah. So in terms of artificial intelligence,、uh, in our study, I think it can be understood as an umbrella term. That covers a variety of digital capabilities, and some of which may evolve over time. So, specifically in our study, we define artificial intelligence as technology that mimics human thinking. 
So it can make assumptions,、uh, it can learn, reason, problem solve, or predict with a high degree of autonomy. So in our study, we use a framework to explain、uh, the different stages of AI, which includes three stages:、uh, assist intelligence. Augmented intelligence and autonomous intelligence. So I know this term may sound really daunting to you, but I think for our audience, you can really just think them as the beginner level, the intermediate level, and also advanced level of artificial intelligence. So when you move from assisted to augmented to autonomous intelligence, more and more decision power is transferred from humans to technology. So basically, that's a quick overview of artificial intelligence.、Uh, if you are、uh, interested in learning more about that, you can check out our report on that website. So today,、uh, the adoption of AI for onboarding、uh, is really in its early stages. But we learned from our study that、um, it has great potential to significantly enhance the experience of new joiners. And also the experience and not work of onboarding professionals, especially as Barbara you were alluded to,、um, the the current world where virtual onboarding is really in high demand. So Barbara, could you share some of the potential benefits that AI could bring to a、uh, new hires、uh, to the organization, to HR, or maybe other business functions as well? Sure, Amy. And I think with the research that you and I conducted, one of our biggest Realizations is how AI can help enhance the employee experience. I think a lot of times we think of technology as streamlining functions and and automating processes, and that is indeed true with AI applied to onboarding. But I think its biggest promise is really around enhancing that employee experience. You know, I think one of the central challenges for onboarding teams. Is how to balance personalization and scale. Many companies are onboarding literally hundreds of new employees every week, so it's really important that they perform things at scale, do them very efficiently and effectively. But from the perspective of the new joiner, personalization of that experience is so critical. You know, think of yourself when you start a new job at an organization. You want to know that you're. Particular questions are going to be answered. That you know you'll you'll be connected to mentors and colleagues who are going to be helpful to you, and you're going to have affinity with, and that your needs are going to be met. So I think that one of the biggest promises of AI for onboarding is that ability to provide a personal experience at scale. One other thing I'll mention, though, and this I, I actually have a personal story about.、Um, one of the things that just continues to be onerous around onboarding is what we refer to as the documentation dilemma. As you all know, when you you know when you、um, fill out paperwork for、uh, your new employment, you fill out an employment eligibility verification in the U.S. an I nine form. And these kinds of things are highly manual. Still, they remain very manual, very paper intensive, and so when mistakes are made, they can be highly frustrating. I have a personal story where I know that when I joined a firm once, they tr-、uh, mistakenly transposed two digits of my passport number, so that led to all kinds of questions from Department of Homeland Security, you know, around my. Employment eligibility status, and there was faxing of documents back and forth, and a lot it took a lot of time to resolve. So when you know, I think AI、um, holds the promise of solving that documentation dilemma and removing those kind of paper intensive and and manual steps that can be so very frustrating. Yeah, Barbara, I'm so sorry to hear your experience. Definitely, I think a lot of people are struggling with that and have. Very painful experience with filing a paperwork. So I definitely really hope that we can adopt this technology very soon to increase not only the speed but also the accuracy of documentation. So Barbara, I know that for this study, we conducted a focus group with your members from the Onboarding Talent Council. I remember during that meeting,、uh, many people were saying that it really takes a village to onboard new employees. So, could you also share a little bit about like how artificial intelligence can support the different stakeholders in this onboarding process? 
Sure, Amy. And it is true. It really does take a village. I mean, the onboarding professionals are the people who focus entirely on onboarding and making sure that that new joiner experience is a good one. But they can't do that all by themselves. They work with security. They work with IT. They work with the comp and benefits people, with the learning and development folks, with talent acquisition and the recruiters. I mean, and there there are all of these different people and functions involved in a successful onboarding experience. Um, I think one of the things AI can do is really ensure coordination and integration, you know, across all those roles. I mean, imagine, you know, there, there are many different places where data is being collected. And if that is gathered into a single source and integrated it can really help with reducing errors, streamlining processes, and making that experience a seamless one for new joiners. I think there's two other roles, kind of stakeholder roles I want to mention, though. One is the hiring manager. I mean, as we all know, the person that we report to, especially think about when you got, get hired and are working immediately and only remotely, that that manager is like your your lifeline to your organization. And so the hiring manager and how attentive they are to the experience of the new joiner is very critical. And some hiring managers, you know, place higher priority on that than others. Uh, So there's inconsistency, you know, across how they handle uh, the onboarding of their new employees. So AI can help increase that consistency in hiring manager support. I think in one example, we heard AI can be used to send reminders and suggestions to the new hiring, the hiring manager at specific milestones, like the 30 day, you know, 60 day, 90 day mark, and just remind them to be attentive to checking in with their new employee and, you know, making sure that they're all getting that consistent experience, even though they are reporting to many different hiring managers. Lastly, I think AI can really change the role of the onboarding professionals themselves. I think it holds the promise to free up onboarding professionals to shift their focus from what is often a lot of administrative issues. You know, you think about how, how process intensive all of this is. And with AI taking over a lot of the administration of the process, onboarding professionals can focus on more strategic issues how to enhance the new joiner experience, how to align it with the needs of the business, and then also addressing kind of unique situations of particular new joiners. And I think this shift really will help enhance the experience of the onboarding professionals themselves. A lot of them have gone into HR and onboarding in particular because they really enjoy helping and supporting people. So being able to make that shift to the strategic and the the highly personal, I think will make that role an even more satisfactory one. Yeah, thank you so much, Barbara. And I really like what you said about hiring managers. I I do think they play a significant role in the onboarding uh, experience of new hires. And as you mentioned earlier, that personalized experience, I think in addition, they also definitely want a consistent experience uh, across the entire uh, end-to-end onboarding process. So I can't agree more. And also, as you were talking about uh, new joiners, I was also thinking about employees uh, within the organization who uh, make like internal career moves. So many organizations today, as you know that, they have a big focus on internal mobility. So when employees move uh, from a team to a different team or different function or even a different location, I think when we talk about the AI technology used for onboarding those external new joiners can also be applied to um, the transition process of the internal moves and ho- help the internal employees navigate their new roles, new business units, and also networks within the organization. Yeah, so thank you again for explaining uh, the potential benefits of adopting AI, Barbara. So I'm sure by now our audience are very interested to learn how exactly AI can be applied uh, within onboarding. So what are some use cases of AI in onboarding? So Barbara, can we start with you again, um, just to give a specific example of how AI can transform onboarding? 
Sure, Amy. I actually, I can think of two, and I'll describe the one that we heard about the global technology company. And then I I think um, it'll be great to hear from you about what we heard from the global professional services firm and what they're doing around buddies. So sure. I'll start. Um, the, the story we heard, which I think was very compelling, was a global technology company really used AI to improve, vastly improve all of the pre-boarding communication that occurred for new joiners, all that stuff that has to happen up to, you know, day one of their employment. And they recognized, they did a, an evaluation and saw that, that um, their new joiners during that period could be getting as many as 20 different emails and not, and, and from different parts of the business, you know, about all the different things they needed to do. So they looked at that and, and really streamlined those down to just five communications timed, you know, at, at very uh, strategic intervals and they leveraged um, intelligent automation to lighten the administrative workload of the onboarding professionals. So no longer were these emails being done, you know, manually, these, the, the, they integrated them into five different email communications that were um, sent at particular checkpoints in the pre-boarding process, again, leveraging AI to do that. So in addition to vastly reducing, you know, the number of communications, which helped both streamline the process, but even more importantly, I think enhance that experience of that new joiner. They also developed a chat bot, a chat bot um, that used natural language processing, which is is AI, to be able to address new joiner questions that arose even prior to day one. And those could range from, you know, benefits to payroll to when will I get my laptop? And, and there's all kinds of questions and using a chat bot to answer, you know, many of those are predictable. So using a chat bot to do that also um, resulted in a big improvement. Wow, 20 communications to five emails. That's incredible. Yeah, that's really great example. Thank you so much for sharing that, Barbara. So in addition to what you just said about pre-boarding communications, uh, we also learned from our uh, members that AI can also help new joiners with mentoring and also establishing support networks. So a couple years ago, a global professional service firm, they launched a mobile app uh, called Buddy. So it was designed to enhance the new joiner onboarding experience within the organization. So basically the app is a digital cognitive buddy that can help address some basic questions from new hires, especially those um, the questions that the, the new joiners may feel like reluctant to bother their manager or peers about. For example, questions like, how can I connect my laptop to the printer? Or who from the IT department I can reach out to to res- resolve my laptop issue? So question like this, before the pandemic, so new hires will be working from the office and they can they can like turn to their neighbors asking for immediate assistance. But in a remote work setting, this became almost imp- impossible. So a digital buddy can really help a new joiners address like problems like this in real time. And building on this new this digital buddy concept, the firm recently also decided to apply AI to its real world buddy program designed for new joiners. So this new app would allow onboarding professionals to instantly match new joiners with volunteers from their current employees who want to provide mentoring and provide coaching to their new joiners. So basically the the AI platform matches people based on their multiple factors, such as their roles, whether they have common career interests, um, like common skills, or share like social or educational backgrounds. So it's a really powerful tool for the organization to help their new joiners expand their support networks. So Barbara and I only provided two examples here, but we have more many cases uh, in our report. So for those of you who are interested in learning more, please check out uh, our report. So we're going to take a short break here for some quick announcements and be back in just a minute to continue our conversation on how AI can transform employee onboarding. Can you, your team, or your company benefit from insights such as the ones provided in this podcast? They are immediately available when you join the conference board 
a membership-based think tank that delivers trusted insights for what's ahead. Reaching across industries and geographies, we bring together our noted experts, senior executives from the world's largest companies, and nonpartisan practical research to help you address your most important business issues. Our membership packages are tailored to your organization's unique needs and budget. To learn more about our offerings, go to www.conferenceboard.org and click join on the top bar to connect with one of our product specialists. Hello, everyone. We're back in this Insights podcast. So earlier on, Barbara and I shared some potential benefits and also use cases of leveraging AI in this onboarding process. But just like any kind of technology, uh, AI-powered tools can also bring potential risks and challenges to the users and to the organizations. So what should HR professionals know about before they leverage AI in onboarding? Um, Barbara, uh, can we start with you again to share some of the risks and challenges? Sure, Amy. And I think the the risks are so important to pay attention to early on in the AI you know, development process. And a couple, I'll, I'll name a couple that came up again and again in our research and our conversations. First, there's the risk of protecting information security, personal information. You know, there, there's a lot of private data that gets collected as part of the onboarding process, things like passport numbers, social security numbers. And it's so critical that that personal information be protected according to current regulations. And data privacy laws and regulations are just increasing. I think you know we're all familiar with the GDPR or the General Data Protection Regulation in Europe. Here in the US, the, there are, for example, the California Consumer Privacy Act. And I think there'll be even more of these kinds of data privacy laws and regulations you know, coming into effect. So it's so critical that as AI-powered onboarding technology you know, be implemented, that it adequately protects new joiners' personal information and meets those, those regulations. Yeah, I agree. I think I think the root cause of the data privacy issue may not just be the technology itself, because our previous research from the conference board suggests that a lack of transparency uh, in both how the data are collected and also how they are being used is actually a central issue within data privacy. So to alleviate concerns from employees over the data security and privacy, we really encourage onboarding professionals to deliver a timely and clear communications to their new joiners and really explain the data usage and also why certain data-related decisions are made in this onboarding process. Yeah, that's a really good point, Amy. You know, another risk and one I think we hear a lot about with respect to AI is bias. You know, the AI is machine learning. So it's learn literally learning from you know previous data sets. And if those previous data sets that are used to train an AI system contain biases, then those biases are just perpetuated by the platform or the tool. Um, if there's unconscious demographic bias around race or gender or age or culture, you know, that's that has been embedded in the data that the AI tool is learning from, it'll just be perpetuated and it's it's kind of coded bias. So it's so critical that AI technology, you know, is trained, so to speak, you know, in a fair, consistent way, very with a lot of awareness of any bias that is embedded in the data that it's learning from. And then that internal and external checks are performed in the design phase to really identify and eliminate that bias. I think, you know, one other challenge I'll mention or a risk, um, Amy, is a, is the disconnect between AI and organizational culture. You know, I think that you can have a team and an onboarding team that is really enthusiastic about adoption of AI, you know, within their part of the business, but it will be very hard to get that off the ground 
if you don't have you know, buy-in from leadership and other stakeholders, we talked about all the many stakeholders in onboarding, and have an organizational culture that really embraces change and flexibility, because this is a very new and different way of doing things. So before jumping in and implementing AI, you know, we'd recommend that onboarding professionals make a really sound and compelling business case for employing the new platform and address the concerns that are bound to arise among stakeholders around technology risks. Yeah, definitely. In essence, I think the AI adoption um, is a change management process. Definitely, it requires mm -hmm. a stakeholder buy-in and also a company culture that really supports openness, uh, safety, and flexibility. Yeah, so another challenge I've heard recently from some organizations, uh, especially like global organizations, is that scaling an onboarding platform across like different cultures, different languages, or different countries will make the deploying process even more complex. So I, I think a quick tip for the organizations that are considering adopting, especially the off-the-shelf AI platforms globally, is that it might be helpful to prioritize tools that can be easily expanded to new users or different countries or regions. So in today's podcast, Barbara and I talk a lot about the use cases of AI in onboarding and also some of the risks. So I hope our audience now have a slightly better understanding of how um, AI can be applied to the onboarding process. I think similar to any digital transformation initiative, so implementing AI for onboarding should follow some like guiding principles. Um, for example, Barbara just mentioned like really building a compelling case and also have co clear communications about the vision and the why for that change and also define the requirements and also carefully selecting technology that fits those requirements uh, is important. It's also essential to engage stakeholders early in the process and also identify champions to support initiatives and train users to help them understand new technology. And last but not least, to establish and also track metrics to make sure uh, on a regular basis to make sure that really demonstrate the impact of AI adoption in the onboarding process. So before we close today, Barbara, for our listeners who are considering implementing AI in onboarding, do you have any other recommendations to share with them? Oh, I do, Amy. And I like what you said about, you know, those classic kind of guiding principles around uh, managing change, and they certainly apply here. I think you and I heard, you know, in our focus groups and interviews, some other recommendations that emerged that I'd like to share. First, and I think this is very related to the point that you and I have both made around AI and organizational culture and making sure there's an alignment there. I think it's really critical to make sure that any initiative is integrated in with the overall AI strategy of the organization. Uh, there, there may be, it's really important rather than doing this in a vacuum, that onboarding teams will become, learn about research, you know, where AI technology has been applied within their organization, learn from those experience, maybe leverage those investments uh, to apply to their own work. And I think it's interesting, um, you had shared with me, Amy, that mm -hmm. in terms of AI and its use in HR, that over 80% of the current AI-enabled HR solutions are being used in the talent acquisition space. And yes. onboarding, you know, broadly speaking, is part of talent acquisition. So it's, it's very likely that some AI solutions are being used in talent acquisition by you know the recruiters. And so I think the onboarding teams can really um, take advantage of that and maybe work with those teams to learn from what they have done and make sure that their strategy is is integrated you know with what's happening not only within HR but in the broader organization. You know, another point that uh, I think one of our interviewees made that I thought was so compelling, we included it as a recommendation in our report, and that is to focus on the experience versus the process. Again, as I alluded to earlier, you know, we think about AI kind of, you know, automating, streamlining processes, and 
it's so important rather than just think about the process to, to think about the experience of that new joiner, you know, put yourself in their shoes. It's really a design thinking approach where the focus is on the employee experience, applying empathy and thinking about potential changes through the lens of that new joiner. I think by doing that and really focusing first and foremost on how AI is going to affect that experience, then the AI solutions will truly optimize the downstream impact on the new joiner and all of those very important outcomes, Amy, that you alluded to at the beginning of our conversation around productivity and retention and engagement and satisfaction. You know, there's the the data research tells us that onboarding has a huge impact on those things, as you alluded to. So focusing on that experience can reap really important benefits for the whole organization. Another recommendation that I was intrigued by, because it was a little counterintuitive to me, but it was, to uh, I think one of our interviewees said it was really important to set the quality bar high. And for example, if you're going to implement a chatbot, you know, to make sh- absolutely sure that that chatbot is a very high quality so that it enhances rather than diminishes that initial experience for the new joiner. We probably all of us, you know, have had that experience of interacting with a chatbot that's just clunky and, you know, kind of not able to really help address your questions at all. And imagine as a new joiner, if that's one of your first interactions, you know, with your organization, how very, um, very defeating that can be. So the point here is rather than take that agile approach, you know, that says, do rapid releases of a minimum viable product or an MVP, and then iterate and improve over time. The recommendation we have here is not to do that, but to make sure that that chatbot, you know, is is of really high quality before implementing it and rolling it out. Last thing, and Amy, I think this is kind of the real most significant message I think that comes out of our research is to focus on opportunities to personalize the experience. You know, I think a a compelling promise of AI technology is, is to move beyond mass production and just, you know, doing a lot at scale to mass personalization. So rather than seeing AI as, as sort of diametrically opposed to personalization, which I think many people do, it's like, oh, you know, artificial intelligence is going to be very, Um, impersonal. I think counter to that perception, it can actually very much help personalize the onboarding experience. Um, Imagine, you know, being able to have AI uh, customize laptop configuration for a new employee, develop a customized learning pathway for them, you know, based on their prior experience and their their role and and, uh, their goals. AI can help match solutions to employee needs, and then even kind of predict what those needs will be. And I think that, you know, again, resolving that dilemma between doing things at scale, and then really personalizing and customizing that experience for each individual is the true promise of AI for onboarding. Yeah, thank you so much, Barbara. And I completely agree that One of the most important insights from our report is that AI can help to personalize the experience of new hires and employees. So great recommendations, Barbara. Thank you so much. And I hope that our listeners find the the examples and also insights we share today helpful. So thank you again for joining me today, Barbara. And thanks to our listeners for tuning in to this conversation. So if you really enjoyed this episode, please remember to subscribe to our Insights podcast series or explore the entire catalog of podcast programming from the Conference Board by visiting our website at www.conferenceboard.org slash podcasts. This is Amy Yi from the Conference Board, and thank you for joining us for this edition of Insights. We hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. This has been Insights from the Conference Board.